As protests continue over the allocation of frequencies and license for radio stations in this country by former President Jagdio, new details are emerging that indicate who really got what. The administration has been sticking to its position that former President Jagdio did nothing wrong by ending what they call the radio monopoly. But this position is being countered with uh, the statements uh, that what the president really did was to give away the radio spectrum to family, friends, his party, and fellow travelers. Now documents have emerged in both Guyana and the United States that speak to the bona fides of at least one of the directors of Telecor, the sister of Guyana's National Resources Minister Ruth Balgett, of the Bronx received five frequencies to run radio stations across Guyana. The 45-year-old woman, Balgett, is a sister-in-law of the other director of Telecor, Kamini Prasad, who is the niece of the man who gave both of them the five frequencies, President of the Republic then, Barrett Jagdio. The Telecor company was struck off the register of companies here in Guyana, but reinstated after Ruth Marjorie Balgett resurrected it and claimed that some 56 million Guyana dollars are due her as a shareholder in the company. Balgett and her husband are, however, carrying a mortgage on their 390,000 U.S. dollar home in the Bronx. That's about 78 million Guyana dollars. The share capital of Telecor is half a million shares owned by the minister's sister and the minister's wife, who is the niece of the man who gave them the frequencies. While there are regulations under the new Broadcasting Act governing how license can be allocated, the U.S.-based Balgit re-registered the company from her Bronx address using a U.S. state ID card. The Broadcasting Act, under which the current chairman, B.B. Shadik, says everyone must reapply, states that directors must be Guyanese nationals. The Act also declares that no one person must own more than 25% of the broadcasting sector. Jagdio's gifting of Ghana's national resources, the airwaves to certain close friends, family, and his political party has come under intense scrutiny following the forced disclosure by the Prime Minister in the National Assembly earlier this year. For Capital News, Enrico Wilford reporting.